Hello guys, this is Audio Explorer. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm reviewing the Quite C in-ear monitors from Rose Technics. And I must say that it has truly impressed me. At the very beginning, let's start with the appearance of the headset. The feeling of holding is very very light and delicate with the brass gold plated exterior combined with resin material gives me a high end feel. I really like the oval shape sound outlet, it's really similar to that of AirPods 2. This design makes the sound stage more expansive. Inside of this IEM, it has a single dynamic driver unit which can be vaguely seen from the outside. This cable really surprised me. The first impression upon using it was that, at least in terms of sensation, it outperformed almost all. Yes, I mean all headphones cables under 80 US dollar. I've had it for about two weeks and I've tried swapping it with some other cables on my hand. I have to say that the impact of the Quite C original cable on the sound is huge. The high frequencies are broader and brighter. The mid-range vocals feel more intimate and the low frequencies have a noticeably wider sound stage allowing for more details in rock instruments to be heard such as clear drum beats. The headphones housing is similar to OS2 series, but the cable shows the sincerity of Rose Technics material. The sensation of wearing QS isn't among the most comfortable types, but I wore them for a whole afternoon without any fatigue. Moreover, with multiple sizes of ear tips available for replacement, although the cable is thick, the weight is not felt at all when wearing it. Overall, the wearing sensation is still very good. If you're using your phone as an audio source, setting the volume to around 35-40%, to 40%, trust me, you can immerse yourself in your own music world, barely hearing any external noise. Frankly speaking, Quite C sound state advantage plays a crucial role in its noise cancelling performance. I personally enjoy listening to opera and live classical music performance, Previously, with SimGods EA500, I would add a 9038 front end to hear more details of the violin performance. With Quite C, I can just plug it directly into my computer while working. It excels in dynamic sound, sound stage, and high frequency extension details. For those with a budget below US$80 and who appreciate high frequency details and high quality sound, it's worth trying out. Its high frequency sound stage is roughly spread out to the left and right above the head, with the sound scattering more towards the sides as the frequency increases. Those looking for richer details might want to try using a music player or adding a front end. Compared to most headphones in this price range, Quite C stands out. The mid frequency performance is crucial to me, especially regarding vocal reproduction. Quite C excels in the realism and fatality of vocal rendition. When listening to Backstreet songs, I can distinctly perceive the different timbres of each singer, the texture of various instruments and the excellent separation between vocals and instrument parts. The overall sound quality is impressive, without any sense of fatigue. Of course, there are some weaknesses in vocal detail resolution with Quite C, but Considering it's just an IEM costing less than 50 US dollar, I forgive it. I wonder if you all notice environmental sounds when listening to music, especially during live performances. Many 200 US dollar IEMs, in my opinion, suffer from poor tuning, where the brand sounds engineers neglect the modification and tuning of environmental sounds, resulting in songs being unpleasant to listen to. I prefer using a single pair of headphones to loop certain songs. Rosetech's tuning team is astonishing in this regard. They have finely tuned the sound details and optimized the vocal timbre, maintaining a high density in the upper vocal range without any explosions. Up to now, the low frequency highlights are not particularly prominent, but the most immediate impression for me is still the high level of realism in sound and instrument reproduction. Impressively, percussion instruments such as drums exhibit a solid detail and elastic sound, especially when combined with vocals. 
This IEM demonstrates balanced control over the separation of three frequency ranges where the power of drum beats does not overshadow the vocals. Additionally, the sense of volume in the drum beats is ample, positioned approximately at the forehead in the overall sound state. I can confidently say that the low frequencies don't overpower through the drawback remains in the completeness of details compared to the higher priced IEMs. The resolution of some extended low frequency sounds is average, but at this price point, it couldn't be better. Overall, I really appreciate the low frequency performance of this IEM. It's perfectly suitable for directly driving and listening to percussion instruments without any issues, making it worth its selling price. In general, I found the sound quality of the Koi C to be excellent. While it may fall short in some aspects compared to high-priced headphones within its price range, it delivers remarkable performance and presentation. The sound is natural, authentic, rich in detail, with a good sound state and audio separation. Particularly in the high and mid frequencies, it exhibits satisfying clarity and accuracy. Although the low frequencies may not stand out as much, it remains a good choice for those who enjoy listening to light music vocals and classical music. Overall, the Quiet C offers excellent value for money and is a headphone worth recommending. The Quiet C boosts a remarkable, expensive sound state without sacrificing sound density. Just on this aspect alone, it could be considered one of the best all-around IEMs under 50 US dollars. Whether you are into pop vocals, opera, classical music, or rock, the Koi C is a solid choice. Its tuning is completely different from the Eco OH2 series, so I believe it's tuned by Rostec. To be honest, I really enjoy the tuning style. I'll continue to keep an eye on their products. Finally, I want to thank everyone for watching my channel. If you enjoy my review style, please praise, share, and subscribe to my channel. I'll continue to bring you first-hand reviews of various products.